Although we could rent it out on Airbnb for a couple hundred dollars, say, Maria, why don't you give us a couple hundred dollars for every night? You stay here. Hello, everyone. It's Jack here. Welcome to our channel. As usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from dialogue in a real life story video. Today's real life story is about what happens between a selfish husband and his wife because of the woman's sick mother. Before the video, let's take a look at the words you will learn today. The first word is to lift someone's spirits. Next are to make yourself at home and in return for. We will continue with to walk away from and eventually. The final word is to get back on one's feet. Okay, let's watch the video. Honey, when is dinner going to be ready? I'm sorry, I just wanted to make sure that the chickens cooked through. You know, I like things on time. It's 6.10, and dinner's at 6 p.m. sharp. Don't let this mistake become a habit, okay? Of course, I'm sorry again. So, uh, I talked to my mom on the phone today, and, uh, it seems I'm, like her cancer has really progressed in the last few months. Oh, really? Yeah, so I was thinking... Yeah, I don't like it when you start thinking. Okay, all jokes aside, I was thinking, what if my mom came to stay with us while she's going through chemotherapy? What? You want your sick mother to stay with us? Why do you think that would be a good idea? Well, we have room. The guest room is sitting there empty. Plus, we are so much closer to the hospital that she goes to, and that way I could drive her to all of her appointments. And you can't even get dinner on time. Can you imagine what kind of wife you would be if she came to live with us? Eric, this is my mother, and she's really sick. As her daughter, it's my job to help her. And, and, and as my husband, I expect you should be supportive of me. Oh, okay, so I'm not supportive. Who buys your fancy clothes? Who pays for this dinner? Who pays for this beautiful house? And who pays for your summer vacations in Italy? Yeah, I'm pretty damn supportive. Okay, you know what? This is not your decision to make. My mother is coming to stay with us, and that's that. Okay, well, if you didn't want my opinion, then why did you ask? You know what? Just bring me my dinner to my office. Eric, come on. Okay. Honey, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you letting me stay here. You know, just being with you is really going to lift my spirits during all this chemo. Mom, I want to help you in any way that I can. Thank you. I, I haven't seen Eric anywhere. Is he home today or is he at work? Eric is actually... Hey, Maria. I see you're making yourself at home already. Thank you, Eric. I wanted to tell you how much I appreciate you letting me stay in your beautiful home. It's no problem. Plus, Tina owes me a huge favor now. I can't think of what I'll ask her in return, but I'll think of something. You are a jokester, Eric. You remember how much of a jokester my husband is, right, Mom, huh? It's no problem. This room sits here empty otherwise. Although we could rent it out on Airbnb for a couple hundred dollars, say, Maria, why don't you give us a couple hundred dollars for every night? You stay here. Okay, more jokes from my husband. Ha <laughs> ha. Mom, we are going to leave you to the rest. Call if you need anything, okay? Thank you, honey. Okay. Again, thank you, Eric. Go left! Go left! Idiot! Hey, Eric, how's the game going? Hey, Maria, look, I'm in a really intense battle right now, so I can't talk. Okay, well, if I could just have a minute. I heard from Rubby, and she's going to be late for work today. Uh, it's possible for you to drive me down to the hospital for my chemo appointment? Maria, I get one day off, and today is that day. And you want me to drive you to the hospital? I understand, but it's just down the street. No, I don't think you understand. Isn't it enough I let you live in my house? Let you eat my food? I take care of your daughter, who, by the way, does absolutely nothing. She can't even cook chicken right. And 
Now, you want me to drive you around town like a personal chauffeur, a driver? I, I, Eric, I think you've misunderstood. No, the answer is no. What is going on here? Why are you yelling at my mother? Ruby, you're home early? Can you tell me what is going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. Your mother is making me her personal slave. Mom, what is this? Well, when I heard you weren't going to be home on time, I asked Eric if he could drive me to my chemotherapy appointment. And I said no, I said no. Are you serious right now? It's my day off. You have become so selfish. Okay, Mom, I'll drive you to your appointment. And then, when we get back, I am packing our bags and she and I are leaving. Oh, yeah. And where are you going to go? A hotel or Airbnb. Literally anywhere but here. You have become a total jerk. Come on, Mom. Ruby, get back here. Don't walk away from me while I'm talking to you. Ruby! Eric? Is that you? Ruby? Hi. How are you? What happened to you? Not bad. I'm having a hard time. I'm being treated for depression. Depression? Well, I got depressed after you left me. I couldn't focus on my work. I made some bad decisions. And then, I got fired. You got fired? Yes, and then. I couldn't pay the bills. The bank took the house and the car. I had to sell everything to survive. Eventually, I ended up on the streets. Then I got sick, and they brought me here. I'm sorry to hear that. I appreciate that. How's your mom, by the way? Chemo's over. She is cancer-free now. She is being discharged from the hospital today. I came here to pick her up. I'm glad to hear that. Look, Rubby, I know I messed up. I know I hurt you and your mom, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just need the support of someone I love right now to get back on my feet. Rubby, would you give me another chance? Another chance? Eric, listen to me. I'm really sorry about what's happened to you. You had your chance and you blew it. You treated me and my sick mother like dirt. You hurt me and mum beyond repair. It all ended that day. I'm so sorry, but I have to go get mum now. You know, just being with you is really going to lift my spirits during all this chemo. To lift one's spirits, it means to make someone happy. The examples. Spending time outdoors is good for stress and lifting your spirits. The team's victory lifted the spirits of the whole community. Hey, Maria. I see you're making yourself at home already. To make yourself at home, it means to relax and be comfortable in someone else's home. The examples. Sit down and make yourself at home. She pulled off her hat. She made herself at home. Plus, Tina owes me a huge favor now. I can't think of what I'll ask her in return. In return for. It means to do something or give someone something because they did or gave something to you. The examples. Well, he's always helping people without expecting anything in return. Liz agreed to look after the baby in return for a free room. Ruby, get back here. Don't walk away from me while I'm talking to you. Ruby! To walk away from. It means to leave a situation or to come out of an accident without being harmed. The examples. You can't just walk away from 15 years of marriage. She overturned the car, but walked away without a scratch. I had to sell everything to survive. Eventually, I ended up on the streets. Eventually. It means in the end, after a long time, or after a lot of effort. The examples? He eventually escaped and made his way back to England. Eventually, she got a job and moved to London. I just need the support of someone I love right now to get back on my feet. To get back on one's feet. 
It means to have enough money again or to be successful again after having problems or to be healthy again after being sick. The examples. A lot of people are still having problems getting back on their feet after the economic crash. It took nearly three years to get back on my feet after losing my job. Well, that's it. We have finished this lesson. I hope you will soon be able to use the vocabulary you learned today. If you like today's video, then hit the like button. If you want to continue to improve your vocabulary, subscribe to our channel and then hit the bell for notifications. We always like to read your comments, so tell us what you think. Goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. See you later.